In this screencast will be showing the derivation for the moment of inertia for a disc or a solid cylinder. You can see off to the left I've made a sketch. In black is the solid cinder, cylinder that we're inspecting. In red is one of many, many uh, interior shells. Um, we always start by writing uh, an expression for density. In this case, we'll be dealing with volumetric density and not linear mass density as we did for some of the other derivations. More generally, we can say that density is equal to mass over volume. For the larger cylinder, we can say that it's mass over the top cap surface area, which would just be pi capital R squared times the height. Uh, we'll call the height L oftentimes in some kind of expressions for volume. You see that expressed as H. We'll call that pi R squared L. Now that uh, expression here, the kind of intermediate expression, is for the density of the large cylinder, the one that I've drawn in black. But let's take a look at the density of just a tiny little section of it. And I would call the mass of that piece dm. And I'm going to divide dm by the volume of the thin cylindrical shell. This part is a little different. Notice that we use the top cap, pi r squared times l. Uh, in this one, we're going to use the circumference, or 2 pi r. Now that's little r, because we're dealing with the uh, cylinder in red. It's 2 pi r times l times dr. In other words, we're multiplying the circumference times this tiny little thickness right here, which we're calling dr, the thickness of the shell. So this expression, you know, and the way that we arrive there is a little bit different. Notice that we're using a traditional area expression, pi r squared, uh, for the entire cylinder. And for the little shell, we're just saying 2 pi r dr times l. It's a little different. So we always start in the usual place. We say that the moment of inertia uh, is equal to, more generally, m times r squared. But in this case, we want to add up all the little shells. So we get uh, sigma i is equal to dm times r squared. Now we have to be ready to make this expression, this uh, substitution for dm. dm is going to be equal to rho times the denominator of that fraction. And so that's going to basically get substituted there. My expression becomes sigma i is equal to rho times 2 pi r l dr. And um, I can't forget the r squared that was there to start with. Now I'm going to group like terms. I still get uh, sigma i on the left. Nothing has changed. I want to get the r's together. All of these other things are constants. Uh, rho, 2 pi, l, and then I get r cubed dr. Hopefully you can see where this is going now. I'm basically going to integrate r cubed dr all the way from r equals 0 to r equals r. In other words, I'm starting right here at the middle, and I'm going to extend all the shells and add them together. So when I do that, I now have the i, the moment of inertia of the entire cylinder after I complete the integration. None of the constants have changed. I still get 2 pi l in a row. And this becomes r to the fourth over 4, which I'm going to evaluate between 0 and capital R. And when I do that, that just becomes capital R uh, to the fourth over four. And this is still pi, uh, sorry, rho times two pi times L. So here's where I am. And then as usual, I need to substitute now uh, my expression for density. The moment of inertia formulas don't have a density variable in it. And I'm going to select this expression here, the intermediate one, to make the substitution with. So now it becomes um, the mass of the entire cylinder. Nothing else in the numerator has changed, so I'm just going to add that 2 pi L capital R to the fourth. The denominator is going to be equal to pi R squared L, and I can't forget the 4 that was there to start with. We can see that there's going to be some simplifications. The pi goes away. R to the squared reduces uh, in the denominator. It goes away in the numerator. It's R, R squared. The L's drop out, and the 2 and the 4 reduce to just a 2 in the denominator. And now we can see that we have a final expression for the moment of inertia for a solid disk uh, or cylinder, and that is 1 half m r squared. And so that is basically your finishing point uh, for this derivation.